Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Ragini. My husband always says you're good at breakfast and good at parathas. So today I want to show you nice paratha which you can also make it when you make dal. So this is dal paratha with our regular tuar dal. What I suggest is when you boil tuar dal, you just remove little bit tuar dal and put it in the fridge. When you don't have any option, just make this tuar dal paratha. I'm telling you this is going to taste like awesome and it's heavenly so let's start how to make this tuar dal paratha very very simple first just take little bit of oil in a pan and add some cumin seeds and some finely chopped garlic if you want you can add finely chopped onions also but today i'm not adding onions i'm just adding some finely chopped green chilies. You can just make your own variation. Anything you can add the spices, whichever you know, uh, depending upon your taste, you can just add the spices. Mix this once and now we are going to add the dal. This dal I have cooked it till it is mashed. See, I boiled it till it is nice mashy consistency. Just mix it nicely and you need to cook for two to three minutes till this becomes nice dry then you can make nice dumplings and stuff in our roti just add some salt and cook this again just cook it nicely you need to cook this dal till you see that you know this has become little bit dry till then you have to cook this see dear friends after two to three minutes you can see this has become little bit dry now you can just switch off the flame don't make it too dry because we can't make a nice dumpling so just be careful don't make it too much dry now we are going to rest this transfer it into a plate and we are going to add some nice fresh coriander and once this is cooled down we are just going to mix it nicely and make a nice small balls here the dough is ready for the parathas what i usually do is i mix the dough little bit extra and refrigerate in the fridge and whenever i want to make it i'll just remove it and i'll make it instantly and my husband always says you are very fast in cooking so this is a trick what i do so here the dough is also ready we are just going to make small portions always when you're making parathas just your dough should be less than your stuffing so here just make a nice well out of this dough the sides should be little bit thin and the center part should be thick so just make it nicely and keep aside so dear friends here the our dal mixture is cooled down just mix it nicely as per your taste if you want spiciness you can add more of green chilies or if you want you can add nice garam masala also it's going to taste different so here mix it nicely just take a dumpling so now we are going to stuff it in this just get the edges together and seal the edges and this we are going to roll it so here see our nice stuff dough is all ready now we are going to just dust some flour and roll this when you mix the dough you need to mix it little bit soft so that you know when you stuff it your edges won't break and it won't come outside also and you can roll easily see like this you can see the stuffing has not come outside at all that's it so like your parathas just roll it nice little bit thick not too thick if you want you like it thick then you can make it thick like our dibaroti whichever way you like but i like little bit thin here we are just going to roll one more some flour if you want small rotis you can just stuff small and make into small rotis why to eat always dal chawal why can't we stuff the dal and eat nice rotis so dear friends try this this is i'm telling you this is going to taste like anything so just try out once so even this is done if you want butter ghee oil anything you can just add it and fry it so here the pan is hot just your roti on top of it when you stuff your parathas nicely see how nice it puffed up so this is done just transfer it into a plate just don't overcook it this is perfect you know if you want little bit darker also you can just cook it but this is perfect for me so dear friends nice dal paratha is all ready just you can see nice stuffing inside 
because it has puffed up i can just nicely you know tear this wow you can just enjoy with nice achar any pickle whichever is available you can just enjoy this with pickle and some nice onion green chilies at the side mm this is so so yummy so dear friends i make lot of different varieties of parathas in my house so if you want to learn those varieties of parathas please do watch my shows so see you in another session with some more parathas or you know different type of breakfast recipes only for you people so see you in another session with some more recipes